In class, we've been talking about how to use the TI Inspires to do this sort of problem. Um, but I want to show you how to use Desmos. You can use Desmos and you can get it on your phone. I don't know if you can see my app right there for Desmos. It's free. It's Desmos, just and it looks just like the one we have on the computer. You can do it on a computer also. I have the computer screen right there. And it's just D-E-S-M-O-S. It's a free app you can download. And when you open it up on your phone, it looks on your phone almost exactly like this does on the computer. So I'm going to show you how to do this kind of problem right now. So I've already typed this question in right here. On the computer, I can open this up and it gives me a keyboard at the bottom to do like the squares. And I'm going to just close it so it's not in my way. And when I type it, it comes out like this. Now the beauty of this one is you can just use your fingers and pinch it to make it smaller or bigger here. You can also change the size by this little gear right here. And then you can just go in and change what do you want the X to be. Well, our X looks okay. It's our Y. I can't see the top of it. So I want the Y. I can also drag it down, but I still can't see the top of it. It doesn't go high enough. So I'm going to make the Y go bigger. Let's say 100. I don't know how high. Oh, you can see it changed in the background, and that's still not high enough. Let's make 200. Well, that's still not high enough. Let's make 1,000. Let's go crazy. Okay, now we can see that it's going up to about there, but that's fine. I'll just leave it like that. So now I want to find the vertex, the top point, and I want to find the x-intercept over here. And a nice thing about Desmos is that it already knows things we're looking for. So if I just put my cursor and I go along here and kind of click on here, it brings like a dot. It kind of like snaps right in there. And that's your vertex right there. So my vertex is at x at 4.688. And the maximum height is 248.563. It also does my x-intercepts just right off. I don't have to do anything fancy to get those. If I click here, it shows me what that one is at. And if I go over here, it shows me what this one's at. Nothing else fancy is required there. And that's it for that. Um, if I wanted to find, let's say I wanted to also find when is it at x equals 200. If I wanted to find when x equals 200, it won't tell me exactly like I could try to get it to stop right there, but that's going to be like a guess. If I just put in 200 right here, y equals 200, it makes a horizontal line right here at y equals 200, and then I can go right here and it automatically tells me where those close. It would go at 1.64, and then it would go back there at 7.735. So you can find all those questions right in Desmos.